Fraudulent activity is a common problem faced by many online retailers. The Analysis as a Service team at Precient Analytics specializes in integrating disparate data sets and using advanced analytic platforms to discover new patterns and connections. This video demonstrates how our team uncovers new leads by importing online retail transaction data for analysis. This simulation, based on real events, demonstrates real-life fraud situations faced by online retailers. The data has been anonymized to protect the identities of those involved. Let's begin. OnlineSavings.com experienced a recent increase in fraudulent returns. The company's internal affairs division suspected someone inside the company enabled these transactions. OnlineSavings.com provided prescient analysts with a spreadsheet detailing the numerous fraudulent returns. After importing the spreadsheet into one of Precient's analytic platforms, we built a diagram visualizing the transactions, the buyers, and those approving the transactions. By selecting the transactions and pulling them onto the map, we can identify any existing geographic patterns of activity and which of the OnlineSavings.com's three distribution centers accepted the returns. In this case, it looks like the largest group of fraudulent returns originated near Bakersfield, California, which means the shipments were handled by the company's San Jose Distribution Center. Taking a closer look at the dossiers created from our spreadsheet import, we can see a detailed description of each transaction, including the approver, the date and time of the approval, and other information. Returning to our diagram, Let's examine more closely the fraudulent activity originating within the geographic area serviced by the San Jose Distribution Center. Here we can see that Alvin Barrett, a manager at the Distribution Center, approved five of the 11 fraudulent chargeback returns, a number larger than any of his coworkers. While this alone is not suspicious, let's take a closer look at what we know about him. Using a timeline, we can compare his shifts with the timing of the fraudulent activity. Here we see that Alvin's shifts started approximately half an hour after each of the returns were submitted. This is significant because the requests received around that time are not processed until the next shift comes on duty. Thus, the person or persons initiating the return may have been working with Alvin or another manager on his shift schedule. Now let's take a closer look at the claimants. Searching for links between claimants, we discover that two individuals have filed multiple fraudulent returns. Given they share the same last name and phone number and have only slight variations in their billing addresses, we conclude these two persons may have family ties. Moving their return requests to the map, we can see that each of their listed shipping addresses are all located in close proximity to the listed billing address. In conclusion, we have discovered a manager that may be enabling return fraud at the San Jose Distribution Center in California. We also found that multiple fraudulent return requests were filed by a two-person team that might have family ties. The Analysis as a Service team at Precient Analytics is designed and equipped to integrate and analyze large amounts of data from spreadsheets and other sources. Using a variety of analytic and research software and customized analytic methods, our analysts discover new patterns and indicators for our customers helping them to identify and solve problems quickly and efficiently.